Welcome back to CCR Productions. Today we are going to be taking a look at some uh, older figures from a decently new D uh, DC movie uh, from Blue Beetle. But let's, before we take a look at the figures, take a quick look at this guy's packaging. Uh, packaging is pretty much the exact same. It showcases the figure, nice art of Blue Beetle up there. You can't see the accessories uh, on the side, DC on the back, the exact same thing. Blue Beetle, a barcode if you do wish to scan. These are currently available for $4 each at Target. Uh, a bunch of legal information. The other side, yeah, let's go and crack these guys open and see how cool Here they we actually have are. the more standard version of Blue Beetle, also known as the Blue Battle Hero Mode. And this figure just looks absolutely great. The paint and everything on this figure is just so good. This figure looks, looks great. The detail everywhere. This figure... This figure, honestly, if you put, if you upscaled this and put this next to the McFarlane figure, I don't think you could tell much of a difference. This figure looks super great. Looks absolutely great. The leg detail looks great. Everything just looks great on this figure for only four dollars. This guy's four bucks. Three ninety nine at Target. Absolutely amazing price. He does come with uh, accessories, which uh, his two accessories are. These um, Super Blue Beetle Hero Mode accessories that are Frisbees. Uh, no, I'm not sure exactly what these are supposed to be. I guess um, the Rings of Death. There you go. He's got some Rings of Death with him. So he's going to he's gonna death your rings. Uh, but so, yeah, uh, articulation-wise on this guy, uh, I'm only going to do it on one of the Blue Beetle figures because it is the exact same. Uh, there is a ball joint at the head, which can get you up about that far down about that far so not really any uh you can't swivel all the way around there are ball hinges at the shoulders but the shoulder pads are very hard so you can't really move them past that uh you can move them in a little bit you can of course swivel all the way around hinge at the knee or at the elbow uh it does swivel all the way around nothing at the chest nothing at the uh hip, or at the nothing at the chest and nothing at the the wrists there is a ball joint at the hip which can get you out about that far can get you whoop, uh, can't get you to fall over, can't get you forward about that far, can't get you back, not much at all. Uh, there is a thigh swivel as well as a hinge at the knee, and it does swivel all the way around. Nothing at the ankles. Uh, so yeah, this figure is just absolutely great articulation-wise, and uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here we have the Blue Beetle Battle Mode figure, and this figure is, I feel like, the best figure out of the out of the two, or out of the three, I guess, but uh, I don't have the Carapax figure. But this figure just looks absolutely great. He's got all the same detail. He's exactly the same as the other Blue Beetle figure, except for his backpack, which I can show off. Uh, his back does have the extra little, uh, I guess, tentacle things, uh, uh, little pinchers, Blue Beetle pinchers. Just looks absolutely great. It looks so good. And he also does have this non-removable... Uh, cannon arm, which is meant to be either the cannon arm, or you can slide this very nice Blue Beetle pincher in there. Uh, and that, that is, those are his accessories, except for this sword, which is very nice. Looks great. He did use this in the movie. Uh, so that is awesome. And you can also pull the pinchers out and stick the sword in as well, if you wish to have uh, his sword in there, although I do recommend not doing that because I feel like the pinchers uh, look much better in the actual, uh, I guess, the gun or the blaster. There you go. It's the blaster. Um, so, yeah, this figure just looks great. Articulation, exactly the same, uh, except for the, you know, of course, this uh, is, goes slightly less, the little arm cannon. Uh, the, ten the pinchers, I do not believe, are articulated, but, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to... If I can get this guy to stand up, let's go ahead and move on to comparison. The comic book version Superman next to the Blue Beetle Boy. My personal favorite character from the Black Manta, that's not Black Manta, Black Adam film next to the Beetle we Boys. Have a very nice green, black, and blue color scheme going on. Hey, somebody should make a background with that and color. And here we have Batman next to the Blue Beetle Boys. Final thoughts on these Blue Beetle action figures from Spin Master. These figures are absolutely great. Definitely worth the price of $4. Um, now, their normal retail price is about $7.99. Uh, I did pick mine up at Target for $3.99. Great figures for the price. Absolutely amazing. Perfect paint detail. Figure uh, Figures. Uh, perfect uh, accessories. Perfect everything. These figures are great. Go pick these guys up.
the movie was a little bit mixed for me. I didn't love, uh, I didn't love all of it, but there were a couple parts I did like. Um, so, uh, yeah, this has been my review of the Blue Beetle action figures. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next time. Bye. Hey, Blue 2, shut up. Yeah, but I've got a question. Fine, what is it? What continuity are we part of? Uh...